he gets serious, me say Love, love, Why don't tears from your eyes Oh, your children, don't you cry I don't know the reason why So much people have to die The Almighty is the most I Never fail I yet So my people, don't you worry The one behind the guns, they will regret Cold blood and murder I don't know Where this kid is gonna stop Cold blood and murder All this crime we put that fire upon that All the people you make suffer You're the fool behind the trigger Now the blood is on your shoulder All the people you have slaughtered What the hell you gonna do? Now the gun is pointing at you You can't yeah, be comfortable yeah. Look how much people you left uncomfortable So me get to find out you possessed by the devil That's why me know your judgment is inevitable And right then, so that's me on the fire red From your cold blood in the top of cup and fled From your love and your life that mean you're not worth the bed Every vampire now they my gun head back Yo, like what I tell it so Cold blood in the bed I rock But I don't know where well, the killing's gonna stop Oh, blood and murder All this crime we put the fire upon that All the people you make suffer You're the fool behind the trigger Murder, I'm an abundant karate How do we hear wolf in the touch I am an abundant karate And the innocent killing them start with Tears from your eyes Oh, your children, don't you cry I don't know the reason why So much people have to die The Almighty is the most I Oh, never feel I get So my people, don't you worry The ones with the guns, they will regret Oh, not in me Yes, Dean is in the house. <laughs> Dean is an amazing classmate and also a great friend. And he's come all the way from Jamaica. But today he's in Toronto and he is an activist just like me doing great work in social justice. That's right. So we have Dean in the house and we have Carl all the way from Jamaica and live buyers in the house. Hi, Carl. Yay. Yay. 
and let's all wave to each other. Look at that. So, let's, so the music is in the house. So save distance, save lives. Yes, it saves lives. But that doesn't mean we don't connect. We don't communicate. And that's exactly what's been happening in these past episodes. So without taking further time away from this, let's move on to Dean Paul. Dean, welcome hey. to the show. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for having me. How are you, Malaika? I'm doing really well. I'm so happy to connect with you. I never thought we would be doing something like this. And that day has come. So for our viewers' sake, I know a lot about you. But I don't want to be boring them with my voice. They would like to hear you. So please share your personal moments <laughs> about this whole lockdown and isolation and what it has done to you. Oh, well, wonderful. For me, it started off um, almost burdensome taking it. As we human beings, when something new comes upon us as threatening as this, we start thinking, oh my God, what am I going to do? So definitely, uh, as you said earlier, I'm an international student. And I'm from the island of Jamaica. So half of what I'm going through, I was already going through a, a whole change of life. And then COVID threw me again for another turn. Um, in my last couple of weeks of studies, I had to finish my program at home. And to, to, to just make some, um, provide you with some background, while I'm doing my studies, I was staying with my family in Brampton, some, my aunt and uncle, and I'll travel back to Toronto, here where, I, where my family is, where I physically live. My uncle in that location, however, is very ill. So I had to stop the job that I had in Brampton. I had to leave their home because I didn't want to complicate him. And I had to come home back and decided that I'm going to have to complete these last couple of weeks in um, traveling. But so out of, out of bad came good because I thought I would now have to travel from Toronto to Brampton to finish those two weeks because I'm going back to, the, to my job, going back and forth. That might complicate him. But then here comes the schools making the changes that we're now going to take our studies um, from home, doing what we're doing here, um, finishing studies online. It has really been a challenge. I mean, staying home with the children and with the kids every day. Um, I have so much respect for teachers, what you do, seven days a week. I'm ready to throw, I'm ready to throw this one through the door. But you, you have more appreciation for what our teachers do. You, you have more appreciation for the people who we tend to look at as the little man or shopkeepers, um, the persons who help us at the store. We look at that time like this right now. And the big CEOs is not who we're looking at right now. The, 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 the scientists and the doctors is not who we're looking at right now. We're looking at the little man, the little, the little women who are going, you know, making a difference, putting their lives at risk and helping us to come to realization that we need to take a time in life to just stop, pause, take a break. And if I haven't learned anything else from this um, experience, Malika, is that freedom is a wonderful thing. Really, really wonderful to have freedom. That, yeah, but that's it's very so challenging. Yeah. That's so well said that, uh, you know, it's the neighbors Sudden, it's out. now we can treasure how our neighbors are so important. I think they, when we talk about family, we should include them as well because this is the time you can test how they are there for each other. And especially with something like food. I think that's a great takeaway, Dean, from where we are. We are in Jamaica. It's very challenging in Jamaica. You know, the government is doing their best to keep everybody safe and self-distancing and um, wash your hands as much as possible, you know, and, and, and keep off the road. We have a lot of curfew here from 6 to 6 in the morning. No one should be on the road, and they're very strict about it. So we are in Jamaica here trying to be safe. You know, the count is going up. We now have nine deaths and, you know, 496 cases. You know, for wow. a small country, but, you know, but we still standing firm and hoping for the greater change, you know. But this has taught a lot of people. Um, I have been always washing my hand all the time, but a lot of people who didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so do you, yeah. do you have enough, uh, like, uh, supplies for food and everything? Are you getting that easily? Or there are lines and they, the, the shops well, are open? There are lines, you know, there are lines, but what we try to do is to, you know, I I personally try to shop ahead of everybody. You know, I, I don't like mm -hmm. food from, from a long time. So, 
um, I try to keep myself stocked up. You know, but it's very challenging here because no work, and you know, it's a poor country in terms of you know the government and the budget and all of this. But we're trying to be safe. You know, the good thing about Jamaica, we have good neighbors. So we could go and pick a mango next door, pick a, bre a breadfruit or a pear or some apple. You know, this is Jamaica, you know, the land we love, fruitful land. So I you know, miss that's home. the thing about us. We can do it anyhow Cause I can never see you through Cause everyone there will pay the price With a living sacrifice We'll share me to the chairman And then we go be more and share me To think that chairman was a thing of a mess We'll share me I hope this chairman's gonna last No can't stop us now, we need to make no we won't bow Neither can be bought or sold We are the faith and right The children must unite Have this word much more than Much more than more We shall be 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 in the name of the Lord yeah. We shall be We shall be We shall be We shall be Yes, we shall be Restrained from God Yeah He rules all creation, food you know they have opened yeah, the know. stores yeah and we take things for granted and being even in india i'm coming from india and i have the same thing i saw there is no and not enough food for everybody and then yeah. there is a lots of sharing and giving right now so yeah. coming to the second question i'm going back to dean now carl thank you for sharing that dean so yeah, how has this impacted your work life i know you're working you come under essential services because you just joined uh, a new car, your organization so as a like a frontline worker so how does it uh, how, is there any pressure tension how do you take care of your safety please share something like that oh tremendously um definitely working with the region appeal um the the homeless sector is one um that the municipality takes very very um, seriously and while we are are taking care of herself there is a protocol on how we are handling these persons no they in what we used to do is the screenings 
and we'll do them by region. No, we're accepting all persons just to get them off the road and lessen um, the danger to anybody else. So um, that, that formality has been taken out of place. So whatever region you belong to, it's a temporary situation where, ha where we are dealing with those persons. And we, everybody has been properly outfitted with um, proper masks and gears mm. um, by, the, by, by the region. You are, most persons um, are to their rooms. So the dining area, the, the recreation areas are most definitely closed off. And they are out, um, usually it's eight hours per day. Now it has been reduced to four hours. So activity and life as they know it inside the shelters have been changed significantly. And in the communities, because the shelters have been filled, and really, really grateful to the hotels that have um, handed us rooms to help, we have also made some temporary food place where a person could come and pick their bags up. And again, that offers opportunity to persons who won't work in because you have persons who now come to man those areas where persons can come and take food for themselves and their family. And as you said, just uh, no, having so much at home for yourself, it is so quick to forget that there are so many persons right here on their nose who you think should be okay and they, they don't have, they go without so many days. So it's just um, really another um, higher focus on the, the, the homeless persons, but more and more attention to ensuring that the frontline workers remember my old car back to the roots. So we were supposed to do a second leg of tour in the US and then Europe for this year, everything is canceled. Um, wow. So all I can encourage the listeners and our fans to do is to download the Back to the Roots album, get some real spiritual music in your soul, you know, straight from the yard, Back to the Roots, that's the album we're promoting now some real conscious reggae music on it. Um, for the music industry, nothing, everything's full stop. Every tour is for everybody in the world is cancelled. And that is really rough. So people like me you now, we have to just sit home and get creative by, you know, writing songs now in our, in our time because we can't do nothing, you know, to earn now more than just promote, promote, promote. So, you know, it, 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 it thought that put us in ourselves deeper in terms of writing, you know, and see what this world is coming to know, you know, who could expect that, you know, something like this could happen where over a million people died and not one gunshot fire. Wow. It, it, oh. you know? So 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 I started writing some real deep songs now. Um this is even caused more death than World War Three World War One and Two. So I don't know where this thing came from, but I'm just praying and hoping that they find a cure for this soon and that we could get back to our normal life. In the meantime, I love everybody to look out for everybody and everybody to show some love to somebody else and just don't live for ourselves, but live for one and all. That's it, my brother, love. That's it. Well, um, as you say, he's from the entertainment field. My background is um, hospitality and entertainment as well. and. Uh, in my in my in my, my my capacity, we um, I think I shared that with you before. Um, events planning was one of the things that we did, and um, Carl, as a part of the the, the the live wire band, was one of the, was our band that really brought entertainment. Whether we had um, a birthday group, whether it was a corporate group, no matter the matter, whatever matter the size of the group, they were the band in Ultras that brought the funk and the entertainment. We usually um, have persons who will come in Malika and they want to, they want the food, they want to see the aesthetics, but most importantly, they want the entertainment. You will showcase and introduce different persons to them. But I've never had a moment where I either I call, reach out to Carl and say, hey, send me a performance of that. Send me something that you have done. And I send it to the, the would-be um, guests and, and get a no. It's usually, whoa, send me some more. <laughs> 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 yeah. And then uh, I'll try to negotiate because they are a, 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 a large band. I, I would love to see you, um, see you to see them in, in, in person. But what happens is that persons will crave for this, type, this level of entertainment. And once they see what it's value sometimes, they're like, oh, my God, can you, can, can you, can you take this off for me? Can you, do, uh, can you give me 30 minutes instead? But I t always tell them, I guarantee you, if you cheat yourself and just take 30 minutes, once, once Livewire gets heated up, 
you're going to want at least 30 more hours. So pay your money right now and let's have some fun. So we really had some wonderful parties on the resort that we um, are coming from. And um, anywhere he was um, after our party, um, um, providing entertainment for the resort that he's doing. Awesome. Very well said. I think, see, that's, this shows the whole thing that how much he misses you, that he wants you in the show to share this moment together. And this is all about safe distance and saving lives. So I would like, uh, uh, Carl, uh, for us to, uh, for a message, like, um, well, are you thinking of doing any fundraising or anything that we could support you maybe uh, with the music, something you want to do? We, we can talk about that later as well. But some, because I know you have, well, all of us, what I find is between you and Dean, you both have a very social justice uh, front. And that's probably what propelled Dean to take up social work. So for, and with, and with your talent, like with you and what uh, Dean has, you get, you can help a huge um, fundraising, which would benefit a lot of children who are probably waiting for the next meal mm -hmm. or, you know, that music can heal so many things. So what, what would you like to share? My question is in these conditions, what, uh, what is the message you have for people and how do you think music can help them? Heal through these times. Over to you first, Carl, and then to Dean. Okay. Um, first and foremost, let's talk about fundraising. Um, I love doing fundraising. Um, I'm a type of person who likes to make people happy. That's if, if, if I live my life without making people happy, then I wouldn't want it. You know, I love to put a smile on people's face. I love when people, you know, feel the spirit and the energy of our music and of our personality. So that's why I chose this career to make people happy. You know, I love watch people smile and have a joy. So, um, yes, we'd love to do some fundraising. Once somebody organizes it and call us, we are willing to go the extra mile to make it happen. Mm -hmm. Once it's for the right reason. Um, yeah, and so, you know, I just want everybody to stay safe. It doesn't matter the race or the color or where you're from. Just stay safe. Show some love. Share if you have one bread and your neighbor don't have any, share a piece with them. You know, life is just for living, life is all about love and sharing and caring, and we will have a better world. Yeah. So we I am always available to come and play for anybody. As long as it as it is right, clean, spiritual, and it's all about fun and cleanliness and godliness. I'm with it. So <laughs> Dean? <laughs> sure, sure. Dean, okay. Yeah, but like, you know, one of the things I love about Live Wire Band, um, you know, the people who, in your professional doings, the people who you bring into that web represents you, right? And, and, and people judge you. As you walk out, you're on a stage and people are ready to judge you. So whenever I go out and I hire Live Wire for a, a group, I know I'm good. I don't have to worry about them coming on property at a certain time. I know they'll probably be here four hours early. And you know, when Jamaican people early, that's, that's not the norm. You know, Jamaican and early, Right, and but I can expect I know they're going to be at least two, three hours early, and I don't have to worry if my entertainment is in place, or if my my, 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 my clients are going to feel like I fail them. Good to go. So it's one of the things that I, I, I always admire, whether they're working for, whether they're back in the Crown Prince, uh, the Crown Prince of Reggae, or they're back in somebody that's having a birthday party. They always bring a level of professionality, uh, professionalism to their thing, and. I must, I must always um, big up on that, man. You're, you're your team. Thank you. You're, you're, yeah, man, you're always lead out like a, tro a real trooper and make sure that everybody understands that you, you, the talent and what you're bringing across is not a plaything. And I always, always appreciate it. And I think that's why you got the respect and you are your, your band have the respect that you, you, you have from, from many a give person. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. You, you spoke about Caravan and that you loved. We would love to have him here for Caravan. Caravan. To get one of those bands, you need to get to Canada. I mean, I know you, you miss out on your tour for, for US and I think it's bad, but to, to, to Canada, Canada is calling. We'll see if we can let him in, uh, uh, Malika. Okay, wonderful with that. Let's, let's hear some music uh, from what you want to sing, a few lines for us. Okay, know, you're on. Back to the Roots, me and Norley singer Jerome, JYS Michael wrote Back to the Roots. I wrote um, Bloodshed, um, Tired of the Killing. I wrote 
Jehovah. Um, so many songs. You know, um, there's so many songs I wrote. It's hard to just pick them out one by one, but there's a lot of... Yeah. So, so, yeah. so can you recite a few lines from Back to the Roots? Just recite Back for us. Back to the Roots, 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 yeah. Ooh. Back to the Roots, Roots, Roots. Live wire. And back to the Roots. <laughs> Do you remember Rondon Prabhana? Mm-hmm. Do you remember the Mata? Great Akiyakan. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Rock. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for your time. I really love this session. And I know we are all practicing safe distance and safe safe lives. So I hope you share the message and looking forward to really meeting you in person in Canada and in Jamaica. So I am actually hoping to go there one day. And Dean, I'm sure, will help me with that. Thank you so much. Most definitely. (laughs) Thank Thank you you so much for... Thank yes, you, thank you. Wonderful yeah. seeing you. Thanks for having okay. me, Malika. Awesome, awesome. Uh, stay safe. I'm going stay to. Safe. Yeah, stay thank you. Oh, Jaja, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, Jaja, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Mighty Jaja. They're boldly swaying in the sun Feel like a million Feel like number one Heights of summer Never felt as strong Like a rock I was 18 Didn't have a care Working for peanuts not a dime to spare But I was asleep Solid everywhere Like a rock My hands are steady Eyes so clear and bright My walk at a purpose My step was quick and light And I held firm To what I felt was right like a rock Like a rock I was strong as I could be Like a rock Nothing ever got to me I was something you could see I recall mm, 
Yeah. 